Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cup. Today we're cooking tripe, and we're kind of making it an Italian trippa with the tomato sauce. But before we have a look at the ingredients we're going to need for today, if you're not a subscriber yet, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode drops. And now let's have a look at the ingredients. So we have our tripe, we have some caraway seeds, we have some white wine, onions, celery sticks, some carrots, and three small cans of pilati. Uh, I think it's, it's a kilo, kilo 200 grams. Um, we need to do some prep. We need to cut the celery, the carrots, and the onions. We also need to cut the tripe. And once we're done with the prep, we'll head over to the stove and do the cooking there. But let's start with the vegetables. So the first thing we'll need to do is we need to peel the onions, peel the carrots, and we need to wash our celery. Uh, let's get going with that, and I'll show you how we cut it. So let's start with the carrots. Now this you can do however you want to. You can do it as fine or as thick as you want to. I do it relatively fine. Just show you one and then we can do it separately. So this is more or less the size that we're looking for for everything. You can put everything in the same bowl because they go into the pan at the same time afterwards. So that's how we want the carrots. Now with the celery stick, we'll do it the same way. Basically, just chop away. It's a bit crowded on the board, but it's just that I can show you everything at once. We'll put that to the side, and then we'll go and do an onion as well. It's just standard onion chopping. So that's how we prep the vegetables. Now it will take another couple of minutes to finish prepping these. But once we've done that, we're going to move over to the tripe. So I'll see you once we're done with the vegetables and the tripe is on the board. Now it's time to prep our tripe. Um, I think tripe is one of these things that have kind of a bad reputation for some reason. People don't like it. They think it's disgusting. I think tripe is great. Now, what we did with this tripe in preparation was we kind of blanched it, but I wouldn't say blanched it because it we boiled for 15 minutes. But it's just to get some impurities out of it. And I'll show you how we did that. Our water is warming up. We're putting quite a lot of salt in there and some aromatics. Bay leaf, a carrot, and an onion with some cloves. And some black peppercorn. I would just wait for it to come to a boil and then we'll put our tripe in. So we come to a proper boil, we can put our tripe in. And then we wait for this to come up to a boil again. So we brought it up to a boil, and now we turned it down to simmer again, and we let it simmer for 15 minutes. So 15 minutes have passed, we're basically done. This step is just to get, off the, get out the impurities, but these were very clean. 
because otherwise you would see foam and then you can just skim that foam. Now we'll just take this out and let them cool a bit. As you can see, really easy. And now we're just getting, cutting it up. We want about this size, but here again, do whatever you want. If you want it smaller, make it smaller. If you want it bigger, make it bigger. But I think this is a good kind of bite size um, size for it. Because you want it so that you can just eat it with a, with a fork. So cut up all your tripe, and once you're done with that, we're actually going to move over to the stove, because the rest happens at the stove. So I'll see you probably in a couple of minutes at the stove, or in a second, just now. So add a bit of olive oil, so we can put in our vegetables. want to just sweat them, we don't want to fry them. Add a bit of salt to this already. We can also add our car caraway seeds. And in goes our tripe. put in our white wine. I want to cook off the white wine a bit. Add a bit more salt now that the tripe is in there. Now we can put in our tomatoes. And now all we basically have to do is wait, but we'll add a bit of water. We'll add a can of water because we don't want this to dry out before everything is ready. So this needs to cook now for about two hours. So I'll see you in two hours. So we're at the halfway mark. We're just checking if we have enough liquid, and I think we do. Otherwise, you could add a bit of water now. I'm gonna give it a quick little taste just to see where we are with the salt level. Add a bit more salt. Salt to taste. And we also crack in some black pepper. last taste when we're done. So this should simmer now for another hour. And I forgot one really important ingredient. And it's a pecorino romano. We're gonna grate this in at the end. I forgot to show you that. We have about 10 minutes to go on our two hour cook. Let's see where we are with the salt and pepper. Hmm? It's a good pinch of salt. And some more pepper as well. Give it another try. Very good. Now all that's left to do is to mix in our pecorino romano. You can turn off the heat. Another last try. Perfect. So now all we have to do is serve this up. I'll see you at the counter. Et voila, let's serve this up. We're gonna eat this with just a slice of sourdough bread. If you wanna know how I make my sourdough bread, just have a look at that link. It's easy to explain there. A little bit of olive oil. Some more pecorino. And some black pepper. Let's dig in. Mm, can't wait to try this. So good. Mm, hot. Mm. So tender. 
lot of people that haven't tried good tripe say, yeah, it's very chewy, but it's not at all. It's really tender. You just need to cook it long enough. That's pretty much it. That's our tripe or trippa. It's made pretty much a classical Italian way. Now, if you want some hot spiciness in there, you can also add some peperoncino. You can add more caraway seeds, whatever you want. Don't forget, it eats up salt, so you need to be quite generous with the salt. And don't forget the pecorino. I didn't show it to you on the board when we looked at the ingredients, but it's essential. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, leave a comment below if you have a question or if you have any feedback on the episode. Thank you very much. Oh, and hit the subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. Take care. Bye-bye.